I've got a couple of bags that I'd like to use and we I okay so this is a silver one silver silver <laughs> tableware from Huckleberries and my kids always know I have a whole drawer full of these from Chili's or from Huckleberries this one's longer than the Chili's ones so I'm gonna fold this up and make a pocket um, I'm gonna have both of the open sides going the same way this <clears throat> I'm trying to think this was from Applebee's or Chili's or something where they put your extra condiments and stuff in so I'm going to let's see I'm gonna use some washi tape um, to put this together so let me get my craft or scotch create because that's what I like to use for this and I'm gonna do um, I think I want it this way to be honest I don't know why I like this the, that one in the front I'm gonna go ahead and glue this pocket so that I'm not tackling tackling not messing with it I'm waiting for the glue bubble okay I'm just gonna go ahead and make that pocket alright and then this is when I get ready to mat this this is narrow enough that I can just cut a piece of paper that fits inside that pocket and we'll be fine okay alright so that I think I will start with this one because it's a little bit flatter. Put my lid on my glue. So, um, pull out the washi. I'll make it a little bit longer because I can always trim off if I need to. So, ooh. Make sure I don't have any glue on my fingers. I don't know how Gail does this so perfectly. I make a mess when I try to do this. And I get it all over my fingers. And <laughs> okay. So we're going to follow that. I'm going to just follow that line of the fold. I don't know if you can see it in there. But make sure I'm covering the whole thing get it semi straight uh, probably should have gone a little under but then I'm gonna turn this over that's the bottom of the bag that's the bottom of the bag and I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one leaving a smidgen of space in there like that that way I can still Wow, that didn't that didn't like that didn't like it. I gotta put another piece of tape on there anyway, so that will help. So let's just fold that over. It's too short on that side. I think I'm gonna trim the top of that pocket off as well. I guess practice is what it takes with this stuff okay I don't have a lot of room and it's sticky sticking to the sticking to this so let's see oh goodness I have to do it midair there we go I usually do smaller pieces so all right let's I'm gonna do this one over a little bit so that it's you know between the two because the other one was a little on the opposite side and see that washi tape just pops right up it does not want to I mean it's a temporary adhesive so if you want it to stay anywhere you either sew it or um, glue it and this craft 
I keep saying craft, Scotch Create is pretty darn good glue stick. Costs more than your Elmer's, but yeah, it works. And, and I haven't had any issues when I use the glue stick with the washi. So I'm going to come along here. And they're not, they're not going to be together showing like this, so it doesn't matter that that's, but I am going to trim off that edge there. So then that will be something fun to go in the signature. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so that will be like that. Okay, good size pocket. I'm gonna put some journal cards in there. It would be fun. Um, yeah, maybe a bookmark or something. All right, so what's next? Um, I don't know. Okay, a couple of book pages. Um, these could be any pages, but uh, we want to put a couple of book pages in here. I'm just going to even this up here and leave just a little bit of space in between. Uh, this time, I think I'm just going to run my glue down the middle. If I can do it without moving too much. And I want to do something else this time um, that I saw Francesca do, and I think it is cool. So let's pull that up. And I am nowhere near the center, but that's okay because we're going to put fabric over this. And I think I'm just going to pull this over. Let's see how, how much do I need? About another inch. This is where you want it to be temporary and it sticks. Okay, there's no glue on that either. It's just that that paper is so old. So. And this is from a, I think this book is from the 40s. Greg Shorthand, that's what I took in high school. Still around. All right. Let's see. If I can get that down without too many issues. I hope I'm pulling the paper. I don't want to do that. And I kind of want to get it even, but like I said, we're going to cover it with fabric, so it's not really going to matter. No. A wrinkle there. Okay, so we are going to take this piece of fabric and I think I'm just going to do it on the one side. And let's see, I probably need to trim off. trim it there and then I'll pull out some of these fibers and if just don't need too many you can see this scissors don't cut straight okay <clears throat> all right so we'll save that for something this is going to go on here <coughs> and I am going to use my three in one whoa is it three in one or Oh, it's Fabri-Tac. Sometimes Walmart has three-in-one, sometimes they have Fabri-Tac, and they're both pretty much the same price. So I'm just going to attach the glue to the washi, like so. Got to do a little bit on the edge there. I'm going to use my finger to just kind of flatten that out so we don't have a ton of bleed through. Okay. And I kind of want to center this piece of fabric on there. Let's see. Yeah. 
just about an eighth of an inch overhang on either side like that and then we are going to do some faux stitching a lot of people like the look of sewing but they don't necessarily like the sewing I'm one of those people I like to sew I love make, making quilts uh, but when I sew I want to sew when I'm journaling it's difficult for me to get up and down it's not difficult for me to get up and down but it's a pain for me to have to go to the other room to sew come back go back go back so I pulled out one of my old close to my heart um, stamp sets I have not been in these stamp sets in years and uh, I was looking through going, oh, that one's cool. Oh, that one's cool. Oh, I need to pull that out. I need to pull that out. So I'm going to have to make a point to maybe once a week, maybe I'll do like Stampin' Saturday and we'll make up a bunch of ephemera with the stamp sets. If you like that idea, let me know in the description. Well, no, not in the description box, in the comment section. You guys let me know in the comment section. And if, if you like that idea, then we'll do it because, um, and then that will also help me go through my stamp sets because there's some that I want to get rid of that I will never use that I bought because they were like the stamp of the month or something. Uh, cause I was a consultant for six years. So anyway, long story short, I, I have short story long is actually <laughs> how it works for me. So I want to use my stays on. For this because I don't want it bleeding into the fabric so let's see where is where's my stays on there it is now my stays on is timber brown I, need it. I used to have black but I I think it's in my other that sure gets dusty quick. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do some stitching on the side here. Let's see, I'm going to get this all over my fingers, but that's okay. All right. And just like that. What I should have done is got out a block because I'm going to make a mess now. It's, oh, my, my pad is not juicy enough or what? I don't know where my big block is. Used to be able to put it on the, on the back of that. Could I do it on this? Just stick that down there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And then I can juicy that up. Now, I won't be able to see very well through here, but we'll make it work. I know where I'm going. And down. Just like that. Now, hopefully that won't bleed too much on this fabric. But, um, yeah, it's the color, I think. It's just not having the effect that black would have. Um, so... Oh well, that's okay. We'll just finish up and it'll be in the middle of the signature so it's not like it's going to be that visible anyway. I just thought it was cool. And her stamp that she had, I don't know where she had it, it, it had straight stitch zigzag and um, stuff so that would have been a cool one. But yeah, that didn't turn out exactly like I wanted. but. Oh well, best laid plans, right? Okay. It's not bad, it's just not the way I wanted it to be. And, you know, that's okay. This is a, a lesson in getting out of my box. I'm going to go with it and not redo it. <laughs> and put them back in there. I just love these. I wish I had these for all my... Um, stamp sets because I've got a whole uh, drawer up here full of 
just the plastics. So, all right. So let's fold this if we can get it somewhat flat. That's going to make it a little bulky with that fabric, but that's okay. Maybe I should fold it the other way. Let's try it this way. Yep, yeah, that's better. Better, better, better. I'm going to line up the top because the fold bottom has got a little bit of a fold in it. And that's okay. I want to leave it. I like that. Okay. Oh, no. Popped it right off. I'm going to have to stick some more of this glue in there. It wasn't dry enough. Maybe I should let it dry before I fold it. Although, if it's going to pop off, I guess I need to know now. I can always come back and add more glue, I guess. It's probably because it's on that washi tape. I need to make sure that there's a little bit on this paper, too. Okay. I'll put that down. Yeah, I think the black would have been really, really cool. But that's okay. It... It, it's something. I think it'll be fine. All right, so we've got the this pocket, and we've got this special book page, and what else was there? Let's see. I'm putting you on pause. Okay, this is the last one. I've got coffee dyed paper here, and I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna use this little hanky here. And what I'm going to do is attach it with glue here down the middle. Well, if I can, I'm going to do glue down the middle and on the bottom. And I am going to, because this is very chiffon. <laughs> And I'm going to get that tip right there and this along the bottom and then I thought I might wrap it around. So, and I may not have cut this straight so I may have to trim this on the bottom but I kind of want to make a pocket with it. And And I may come back here and run some lace across the bottom. And then I'm going to run this along this edge. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run that um, lace along the bottom because that is not going to line up straight. And. that one's down lower but basically this is decorative so if I had some double-sided lace I could wrap it around the bottom of that but um, I'm just gonna trim this off I just thought that would make a a pretty page and I missed some glue spot here. Okay. Now what lace do I run or run along the bottom of that? I've got all this gorgeous lace. There's lots of pinks in this one, so I'm thinking maybe oh look at this dusty pink. I just pulled everything down. Um I was going to coffee dye these and I never got around to it, so that's okay. This is like a, a dusty pink. That matches really well, so maybe I'll use that because I can use that in a couple of different spots. And usually in this collection, there is, put my lid on my glue, usually a couple of pieces of the same. Um, of course, if I count on it, there won't be, but there's one that's, yeah, there's two. Okay, 
So let me pull this one out. And I accidentally pulled the, the unicorn thread out, but that's okay. I will pull this one out. Okay, so now we have those two that we can use throughout. And and all this, I mean, there's there's lots, lots to be used, but I think I want to run this on the bottom of this page. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. So this time I can use the Fabri-Tac and not, not have to worry about it showing since it's lace. I wonder if I do two layers of that, if it's going to be too stiff. I guess we'll find out. Maybe I have, a, have one that's a little more um, sheer, although I don't really want sheer. Okay, all right, let's go and come back. Can't talk, concentrating. And I think I'm gonna leave this hanging off the bottom because I really like that effect. So maybe a quarter of an inch up. Like that. And it's a little raggedy here and that's okay. That's part of using Vintage. All right. Get that little piece off. So um, now we'll be able to use use that for a pocket because that's going to seal that bottom piece. I mean, won't be able to put anything huge in there, but we can also paper clip. So, ooh, that looks pretty. I really don't need to do anything. Let's see. If, if there's something thinner. Um, I just, I don't want anything iridescent. Ooh, this rickrack might work. Let's use that. That's not even the same color. Um, but it might detract from the glue line. That's what I'm thinking, like right along there. I don't know. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, and if it bugs me, I'll come back and visit it later, but I'm going to leave that that way for now. So now we've got these three special pieces. Oh my gosh, I've got a waterfall, and I just threw the top of the glue in the pile. Okay, yeah. i got to get myself another one of those little toppers. Um, that's not going to work out. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to put this one in the front, and I'm going to put it, I can divide this up here like that, give me a, a little bit, yeah, because this can go up here, and the huckleberries one can go Oh gosh, I hope that's not too wide. I didn't even think about that. I was using the opposite direction. Um, that's too wide. So that's going to stick way out. So we got to figure out. we got to fold this bag. Okay? That's okay. We're going to fold it up like so. And maybe on, on this side. Make a pocket with it just like we did the bottom of that one. Okay. Come out. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to make this glue spot a little bit wider because it's so thin there. But that should work. I could have even pulled out that little accordion place. But I, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to glue in here. I'm going to glue in there. If I can get that back down. Yeah. I will glue. There we go. 
just gluing that little gusset. So now we have a tuck here on this side, and I got glue coming out somewhere. Where is it? Okay, so where did I say I was going to put this one? I don't want to pick the... Hmm. I don't think I'm going to put that one in this one. I think I'm going to put this one in here. And I might... Yeah, I think I'm going to put it behind this one. Yeah. Because I can go higher, lower, and it will show... Yeah, the... That looks good. Okay, and then this one can go in here. Not quite as bulky, but I do want to leave that, and then I'll put this in here like that. And then we will decorate that. Okay, so we're we've continued to work on our pages. Um, I've got three more special insert pages that I want to do, and then we will, ooh, that, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, then we'll be back to decorating. See you next time. Bye now.